So with our exchange flow metrics, we track tokens moving in and out of exchange wallets because that's often a pretty good sign of incoming price movement. Uh, we have two main exchange flow metrics that we use. These are exchange flow balance and exchange flow. Exchange flow balance shows the combined values of tokens that are moving both in and out of exchange wallets on a certain date. Uh, what that means is that if the value is positive on this graph on some date, that just means that more of that token enter the exchanges than left and vice versa. So if the value is negative, that means that more tokens have left exchange wallets than have entered. Now, the question is, how do you use this data exactly? Well, there are several ways. For starters, it's not very uncommon for large inflows of tokens to the exchange wallets to kind of precede rapid or massive price growth. And this is exactly what we're seeing here. By the way, this is an exchange flow balance graph for Eternity. Eternity is a blockchain platform that enables scalable smart contracts. And we can see here a very large inflow of Eternity tokens to the exchanges. And it's very quickly then followed by a massive price rise. And by the way, there are a lot of examples like this that you can find in our data, but the opposite can also be true. What that means is that when a large amount of tokens move out of the exchanges, the price is also likely to fall. So this is an exchange flow balance graph for Etherall. Etherall is a decentralized casino on Ethereum and its sticker is DICE. So here are a large number of DICE tokens moving out of exchange wallets, by the way, during a price rally. And we can see that the price started to drop soon afterwards. So again, exchange flow balance combines both the outflow and the inflow of tokens to exchanges. And if you would like to see those values plotted separately, you can use exchange flow because that graph shows the exchange outflow in blue and exchange inflow separately in red. But basically, with our exchange flow metrics, you can pretty easily track token movement on exchanges and also just the follow-up market reactions to those movements, which can be very interesting and sometimes, as you can see, can be pretty drastic.